Sandboxing is a cybersecurity technique that isolates files and programs in a secure, controlled environment before they interact with the rest of your system. It acts as a virtual testing ground where potentially risky files or code can run without posing any threat to the rest of your network or sensitive data. Think of it as putting a suspicious object in a transparent box to observe what it does without letting it cause harm. Let's look at an example of how sandboxing works. Meet Sarah, a software developer. Sarah's working on a new piece of code, but she's concerned it might have vulnerabilities or bugs that could be exploited. Instead of running it directly on her company's main servers, she decides to execute it in a sandbox environment first. The sandbox isolates the code, allowing Sarah to see how it behaves in a safe environment. If the code attempts to access restricted areas of the system or perform any malicious actions, the sandbox will block it. In this case, the sandbox prevents the code from executing harmful actions, such as accessing sensitive customer data or making unauthorized changes to the system. Now, why is sandboxing so effective? First, it protects your system by keeping malware from spreading. Since files or programs run in isolation, they can't access critical data or systems outside the sandbox. Second, sandboxing allows developers and security teams to analyze potentially harmful code in detail. By studying its behavior in a controlled environment, they can understand its full impact and develop defenses against it. Finally, sandboxing helps developers identify bugs, test compatibility, and simulate how their code will behave in real-world conditions without risking system integrity. Sandboxing not only protects your system from harm, but also allows for thorough threat analysis and provides a safe testing environment for developers. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cybersecurity insights.